today on the day today on this day where we are all here today on this day today on the day today on which we're here together on the day today it's Tuesday I'm so sorry Karaxin you were so close yet so far <laughs> Everything doing, let me say hello to you. We have Kaz, we have Ray64, Best NPC, Coffee Cup Kai, Daniel, Leo Delon, hello, Speculative Biologist, and Heartfang, and Kekmet, hello, Mojo Nazwa, and Zargon Dragon, and Spider Pigeon, and Lux Lutis Ado, hello, hello. I very rarely say your full name, I don't know why, I always think I'm gonna say it wrong. <laughs> Maybe a raccoon. Hello, Tragic Pasta. Hello, Caraxian Fortune Endeavor Music. Mooney Main. Hello, Elonkel and Frilly Bits. Nello. That one brain cell. Nello. Astral Ecliptic. Nello. Johansson, hello. Eviolite and Plaid Laura and that one brain cell, the one left, the one I have left. Kirsten C says, what song is this? I keep hearing it, I can't find it. It's Side to Side by 3D Blast. It is a club banger. Bukala, hello. Troid, hello. Ray Radies, hello. Chief Puddle and Ebby99 and Lisa Glover Carol and Neverix and Hiramish, hello. And Manfred Van Karma, hello. And Pain Creature and Puffle Master and Boosle the and Antilles, hello. And Finn Particular, hello. And No Escape, and Minos Champion, hello. Are we vibing? In here, screaming, hello. If I, if there's anyone I've missed, you're gonna have to make yourself known because I went really fast there. Shamrock Ace, hello. Hello, are we vibing? I added Hat Kid to the starting soon screen because I felt it was, I felt it was appropriate. I felt, I felt it was appropriate. I, I really liked that game and we will be going back to it at some point, just not today and not tomorrow and probably not for a little while. Kratatata, hello. Traveling in the box, hello. Hi, I'm here. I'm here. I'm vibing. Um, Little Shark is also here. I wasn't sure if we're going to have Little Shark here or not, but Little Shark is here in the background. Right here. Like on. <laughs> attached. Attached to my chair, in fact. Ha. Hua. All, always watching. Great place. For, great. Great. What side are you on? Oh, you're over that side. Okay. <laughs> uh, what happens on Flesh Tuesday? I have flesh. Um, I I have been doing VTuber streams for the last couple of Tuesdays, so I just thought I would do a non-VTuber stream today because um, there's a couple of things I want to do with the model. I don't know what yet. I don't know what yet, but I, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking in the brain, you know? I'm thinking in the brain. Um, Mo just says, remember when Cake said we won't be doing another Ratchet and Clank game for a while? <laughs> remember the one time I was like, yeah, no, we won't play another Ratchet and Clank game for a while, and I it was like a week and a half later I played another one. <laughs> Uh, Pitches this might be weird, but good news. I got home from the dentist and got told that they'd take out all four of my wisdom teeth. For me, it's such a relief to have a plan, especially with a team I trust after all the health I've experienced before. Yes! No, that's a great, that is great news. It's brilliant to be able to get those out when they're giving you trouble. Like, I've had trouble with mine and I'm, someday, someday. They'll be, they'll be gone. They'll be out of here. <laughs> I'm delighted, you pigeon. I, uh, like that, that, that's excellent. That's so, so good. King Josh, hello. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy hearing and vibing coming from my pocket. It makes me giggle. Like, lads, don't shake around too much. We're in King Josh's pocket. Don't, don't, don't wibble around too much, okay? <laughs> Alistar, hello. New viewer. <laughs> I got flashbanged by the Flesh Tuesday, so I simply had to join, and now you are here. 
How are you doing? Um, we might have a flesh ghost Tuesday next week, or maybe on the weekend sometime soon. Bit of stream and don't do what? Now. Don't don't move around too. But no, no, that's what you're you're shaking everything around. There's gonna, it's gonna be a holy mess. You're shaking everything around. <laughs> Acorn Jelly, hello, how are you doing? Um, Frilly Bit says cord reveal. Um, I'm not wearing a petticoat because it's it's not you can wear a petticoat with this dress. I just usually don't I, I don't be arsed, you know, don't be arsed. Zero them! Thank you for 37 months. I have to go to the lab, but I watched a friend play through the whole event about a week or so ago. It's delightful. I have an excellent time everyone. I'll have a good one. I'm really looking forward to playing this. It's just it seems really, really lovely. Very sweet. Thank you for a long time. Is it oh my just god. me or do Elder Maxon oh from Fallout 4 and the guy from the cover of Atomic Heart look like they trade? crypto I have no idea who these people are um I have never played Fallout 4 in fact I have never played a Fallout game unless you can count about an hour about eight years ago <laughs> I don't know who these people are but I do not doubt you for a second goodness from CrossFit Princess I finally have an appointment about my anxiety at 3pm today I'm happy the NHS is taking me seriously I've been genuinely waiting months give it up for CrossFit Princess I'm delighted for you I hope you get something sorted I really hope so I hope so Alex of Ohio says when I got my wisdom teeth removed I went to the pre-op consult I was reading all the paperwork and stuff and then I blacked out blacking out a metal facility is a great way to jump the line I mean like that'll do it that'll just go in and faint <laughs> no jeez no it's in all seriousness you poor chicken but I, I'm glad you got sorted in the end ghostly howler hello how are you doing Bit the stream it says I watched a mate like nine years ago play Fallout 4 and slagged him off because his character looked like Adam Levine. <laughs> oh my god. That's gas. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I show you my dress. Um you've seen this one before, but I mean not all of you. And I haven't I haven't worn this in ages because I kind of um I forgot the straps in this dress were adjustable. I was always like, it's hanging down too low. And then I just made it not hang down too low. I look a little bit like I'm wearing a Zentai suit because I, I have like like red red but I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not i promise i promise i'm just wearing a lot of strawberries strawberries i actually think a green cardigan would be very nice with this i just i i, I do have one but it's the wrong shade of green you know is this a mario cosplay Anyway, <laughs> oh my jeez, cake. How are you doing? Hello. Good news from Astrid Green. After spending the last three days in bed for health reasons, I was able to move to my desk today. Do some stuff. Yes. And I, I hope you'll be. I hope you'll be doing all right. It's it's very frustrating when you're just un so unwell that you can't do things. It's very very frustrating. So uh, I'm wishing you the best. Can we get some goodness for Astrid Green? I really really hope you'll be doing okay. I really really hope so. I hope you'll be able to do some things and also you know do some good things for yourself that you want to do. I hope so. Does this make McDara Princess Peach? Yes. Yes, it does. Don't tell him I said that. Speculative Bio just says, I'm not the guy who calls humans cute, but you look cute in that dress. Ah, thanks. 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 Ah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. It would be a fabulous Mario costume. Oh, God. It reminds me of... um. I remember in the the early 2010s, um, when when Marvel movies were becoming a very very big thing, in particular when Marvel was very very popular on Tumblr, um, everyone was doing Lolita fashion Loki cosplays. And when I say everyone, I mean like probably like ten people, but I kept seeing them everywhere. And I feel like anytime someone says the words cosplay Lolita, that's the first thing that comes into my head, and I just kind of go. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. But like, it was just everywhere. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with it. It was just inescapable for a long time. <laughs> Blood Moon Mountain, hello, how are you doing? Amber, she says, please don't call it the early 2010s. It sounds like history. I'm not ready for that yet. It was a, no, no, we're not. We're not going to start making each other feel old. We're not doing. Not today. You know what? Not today. On this day. <laughs> 
On this day, not today. Spicy Ferret, thank you very much for the bits. And... Daniel, I'm not even sitting on my leg. Thank you for checking in, though. I thank you. I thank you very much. Do you have the soundtrack DLC for the game? No, I just got the base game. And from what... I don't want any of the games spoiled for me. So I haven't looked up the plot, but I don't think it's a very, very long game. So I reckon we'll pl probably play all of it today. Today. I remember there being lovely fashion characters. Uh, versions of every character you could think of. And, like, I think it's fun. Like, I think it can be fun. But it, it was just it hit a saturation point where I was just like... Because it got to the point where it wasn't people who wore the fashion who were doing it. It was people who saw the fashion were like, Oh, this is also a costume. I can put these two costumes together. And that's when it became annoying. <laughs> anyway, no more negativity. I am I am positive brain today. Murasaki Mori, thank you for 11 months of your prime. I uh, can't believe it's been so long. Get my A-level. Get your A-level results on Thursday. Can we get some, some cross fingers? Some cross fingers. Oh, I really, really, really hope. I hope you get back what you want. I really, really hope so. I really, really hope so. Lolita Ben Shapiro, Biden, Joe Rogan, Trump remains the best Lolita. Oh my God, no. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to explain this to everyone now. Hang on. I, I'm going to have to explain this to you. Usually strange. Also, hi, how are you doing? Thank you as well, lads, for kicking off I Hyped Train. The Veng, the Venga train is, um, is the preferred mode of transport, really. You know, it's, it's 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 pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I need to explain this to you. Hang on. I'm gonna regret looking for this. I'm not even gonna find it because the search function on YouTube is garbage. Cupid, hello, Stop. welcome in. How are you doing? You violated the law. It wasn't me. Hirmish, thank you for the bits. How are you doing? Uh meme. TikTok. I actually can't find it on YouTube. I might have to just find it. Hang on. I might have to just find it on TikTok. And TikTok on desktop is like pulling teeth. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> Nukes girl, good morning. Hello. I act. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Is this it? Is this it? Hang on. Hang on. G give me a second. Give me. I hate this. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I hate this, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. Want to feel old? Alexander the Great conquered the Mediterranean 2,357 years ago. What? Where has the time gone? Where'd where'd all the time go? Ask not who the Vengatrain comes for, the Vengatrain comes for thee. It's true. It's Good God, you're on one today. <laughs> Spice Ferret, five thousand. Thank you for the bits. Who was that? Neverix, thank you for the jam scare. Um, I'm going to show you something that's not going to make sense to most of you. Oh my God, he's still fucking... Thank you all for tuning into my podcast. Today I will be live to answer questions submitted by viewers. Donald, I think it's starting. Yeah, I know that. I'm pulling it up now. Don't rush me. Okay, first question. Ben, are you more a fan of bonnets or bows? This is a tough question, as both are staples of the classic Lolita substyle. However, I believe that bonnets are ultimately superior These have been on both aesthetic me. and functional grounds. First, aesthetically. While bows are visually appealing, bonnets are capable of being both cuter and more elegant. For instance, Angelic Pretty's Nakayoshi Bunny Bonnet projects extravagant It's great. Love the bonnet. Much more than what could be achieved by a head bow. Likewise, Victorian Maiden's Amy Rose Half Bonnet presents an air of elegance that is simultaneously more luxurious and subdued than that of a similarly patterned head bow. Second, functionally, bonnets shield the wearer's face from harmful... Oh my god, he's still fucking talking. How is he still going? Donald, ask him about Milky Chan the Fawn. Moving on, here's the next question. What is your honest opinion of Milky Chan the Fawn? All right, this is something that I've actually thought about in considerable detail. Milky Chan could be seen as kawaii. In fact, it may even be the platonic ideal of a kawaii mascot. Anatomically speaking, its eyes and head are significantly larger than the rest of its body, which is a staple feature in anything that could be considered kawaii desune. It's such a fever dream. I can get him. What do you think, Sleepy Joe scalpers? Should I ask about scalpers? It's so oh, oh, ask him about Depop. Depop is a joke of a platform, and I genuinely do not want to waste any of my time on it. True. Wait, wait, I have an idea. True. Okay, the next one I see on here is about Angelic Pretty's recent quality. I assumed that someone was going to ask about this, so I actually have some talking points that I prepared in advance. Okay, you've suffered enough. Um, that th Those videos exist. Someone made it. Like, a load of those. A load of those. It's a great fever dream, as it goes. As it goes. 
Yes. Um, NBC says we should not be signal boosting this evil man. It's not. It's not real. It's not real. Someone just just made it. It's it's a meme. Don't worry. Don't worry. I it's not. I don't have any time for 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 your man. Don't worry. This is the only correct way to use voice AI for for memes and shit posts. It's the only correct way. <laughs> oh goodness. Like, yeah, it's making fun of him, which is fine. It's fine. Oh, goodness. You're telling me Ben Shamir is really into the Legion culture? What? I've been lied to. Oh, my God. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I... Sorry, I need, I, need to, I need to cool my brain down a bit. Do you ever feel like the sparks going in the back of your brain and you actually have to stop the sparks from catching fire? You have to stop the sparks from catching fire before an accident breaks out, you know? You gotta stop it! Exclamation mark GG. Beep, beep. I'm probably not helping the sparks to go out, but mind you. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, come here. How is everybody doing? It is Tuesday. I am three-dimensional in the real-life way today, which is pretty cool. Wait, but what, what are we talking about? The Planka, Planka Wood. Kira, hello! Oh my goodness, Kira, thank you for the raid. Let's can we get a wave of welcome for Kira Elvenblood and the gang. How are you doing? How was your stream? What did you paint? Tell me all about it. I want to know. I want to know. Lads, if you're not already following Kira Elvenblood, and if you have even a passing interest in Warhammer, in painting little guys, or in someone who's just... Good crack, and another Irish streamer. Go over to Kira immediately. Immediately. How are you? What's the crack? How you doing? What's the story? Um, I was gonna say something that's gone entirely out of my head. Um, it's Tuesday, and we're vibing, and we're gonna play Venba later on, and we're vibing, and it's it's Tuesday. Mini painting is super chill, very very chill. Highly recommend. I don't do it myself because if I start, I, I can't, I can't, I can't have another expensive hobby. I can't have another expensive hobby. I can't do it. So I live through other people instead. Jam tea, hello. Always enjoy good crack. Good crack. That's the business. The Venga bus is cumin. It's cumin? Surely, in this case, the Venba bus would be cumin. Frederick AF, hello. Here page a pretty, a pretty, pretty bot fly. Ooh. Ooh, very cool. Very nice. Very nice. What's it? What? Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up what you were painting. Puss Goyle Blight Lord. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Hang on, hang on. Wanna. One of these lads. Oh, stop. That's so cool. That's really cool. And this isn't the paint job that Kira did. I just looked up an example on, on the internet. On tinternet the wings like the, yeah it's gross but like it's so detailed like look at the wings and everything so cool gandledore hello at first glance i thought you were dressed as mario that's the second time i've gotten that today <laughs> wahoo <laughs> mario no no the mario counter is on two now <laughs> Oh, all... God damn it. Mamer, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Also, Kyle, thank you for the bits. I did not say. We need to get a Mario counter going. That's two. That, that is two. Salty Scandinavian, hello. I thought it was Spider-Man. You know what's worse? I was going to wear a much more red and blue. I was going to wear French Cafe today. Stop asking for location, Google, you weirdo. I was going to wear French Cafe today, and do you know what color scheme French Cafe is? French Cafe is also red and blue. <laughs> Captain Wowser, thank you for 31 months. I thank you very much. I thank you very much. But it's also got eggs and plates and cutlery and bits. I love this. I love this dress so much. Rise me a cookie tin. Right! It's so cute. Attack otter. Did I see Loti? Hello. How are you doing? Sorry, the, the caffeine's starting to kick in now. My brain is actually able to catch up with the rest of me. So yeah, I didn't I didn't wear that because um I don't know. It was it was just going this way. I, I realized I hadn't worn this in a million years, so. The three colours, red, blue, cutlery. Oh my goodness. Um phrase mechanique, hello, blue, white, and red. <laughs> Vive la revolution! <laughs> 
We need a Lolita style outfit for Mario Odyssey. Surely someone can mod one it before before Nintendo shows up, shows up at your front door, you know? You're telling me this isn't wardrobe Mario cosplay. You know, I've only done one cosplay ever in my life. Um, I... It's another one of those hobbies that I, I enjoy watching from afar because I, if I get sucked into the hobby... No, you're all right, Frederick. I think it's gas crack. I think it's funny. Um, if I get sucked into a hobby like cosplay, it will take over so much of my life. However, I have realized who... If I do another cosplay, and I might, I might do another one just for the laugh. Just for the laugh. Because, like, sometimes... Sometimes I'm at a convention, I'm wearing Lolita, and like, I listen, this is this is me clothes, is what I wear. But I'm looking around everyone in their their costumes, they're all like messing around, I'm like... I kind of want that experience. So, um, if I do another cosplay... If I do another cosplay... If I do a second cosplay in my life... It kind of... It kind of has to be hack it. <laughs> And I'd like to try making it. Because when I did the Gura cosplay, I just bought all the bits. But I'd like to try and make it. Or at least make as much of it as possible. Because that could be fun. Um, I have a couple of friends who do cosplay who could maybe give me a few pointers and stuff. I do owe ye a Miku cosplay as well. But that is different. That is in a separate category. I owe ye a Miku cosplay on stream for the, for the charity stream. And I am going to do it. Don't worry. I am still going to do the Miku one. If you do another cosplay, it has to be a sister or battle together with Kira. Oh, stop! I saw the coolest... Um, I sent the, the TikTok to Zargon Dragon, but I saw the coolest sister or battle cosplay recently. Hang on. Um, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, this is it! She's so cool! Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look! Look at... Look at it! Look at it! Look! Look! She's so cool! <laughs> We're playing it again. Like, it, excellent. So sick. Like, so, so sick. Love it. Love it. Just, like, so detailed. The big banner. Like, everything. Like, it's just... Jude London MCM. I think it was. I just saw the... I just saw the video when I was scrolling through TikTok. And I was like, wow, this is... This is the business. Like, this is real... This is real stuff. I saw so many good cosplayers over the weekend at DCC as well. Like, it's very good. Cheese Priest and Theolix, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Um, yeah, God. Um, I'm always so impressed when I see people cosplaying. Um, can we get a, a sneaky, sneaky shout out for Tall Nerd Apollo, who did a a Zagreus cosplay, which was excellent. And I, I don't know how he feels about me showing pictures of it on my stream, but um, he was excellent. Like, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Um, there was loads of other people as well. Like, they were so cool. Um, I I don't know how people wear elaborate cosplays in a hot convention hall. Like, it's always so, so cool. Um, Apollo, it was so good! It was so, so cool! So cool! Um, Samurai says, game about Indian food on Indian Independence Day. Is it? Is it? Oh my god, it is! It's in- I didn't know! <laughs> oh my god! That's so sick! I- that's a really happy coincidence. I had no idea. Huh. A planted- I genuinely did not know. That's a really, really nice coincidence. I had a notion. Oh, Zero Mush Bones says, I know Toddler and Apollo. We went to summer camp together. I'm oh, great crack. He's a lovely lad. Like, hi highly recommend. Cool people. Your subconscious knew. It was in the middle of my brain. That's really, really cool. I'm out of interest, and we're not going to start for another few minutes because I'm chatting, we're messing, we're carrying on. Hands up who has played Venba already. It's not been out very long. I think it's only been out like a couple of weeks, maybe. Hang on till I... Let's get this store page. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, it's only been out for like maybe two weeks or so, so. Oh, Murasak, you played Endeavor. I knew you'd have played it. Um, Takiki has played it. I'm, I'm so excited for it. I really am. I'm so looking forward to it. It was one of the ones that I was like really excited about when we watched the, the wholesome game... The wholesome, wholesome direct. I couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> Call wholesome direct today. Finn Predictor says I've seen it on TikTok. I, I, I'm so excited. Oh, oh. Um, how's the good news redeem work? Do I first type message or first redeem? I have no idea. I haven't redeemed it in a while. Um, um. I think you click it. Yeah, you click it, and then you can do your little typing. That's it. That's it.
the only downside to this game is going to need to order Indian food right after. Like, any any game with food in it, that's the danger. That is the danger. You're just like, I'm not, I'm not. Vinegar, hello, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Um, I was saying something a minute ago. Oh, but people who cosplay, so cool. Like, so impressive. I, I would also like to take a minute to, um, have some, can we... Can we just appreciate people who can go to a convention hall, which is already incredibly toasty warm, and wear a fursuit? How do people not die? How do people not die? How does anybody manage to do that? Like... The power that people hold if they can do that. I I, I think some of them, you can't have like little fans and stuff in it, but like, it's it's wild. It's so impressive. Like, I'll never not be impressed. I'll never not be impressed by that. Like, it's just like... Because it was toasty. Um, when I was at DCC, I, we went... We got in for... <laughs> respect. Oh, nothing but respect for my troops. Um, we got in there around lunchtime. And it was still... Like, it was very, very warm. But even later in the day, like, in the main area, it was toasty warm. Oh my god, do you want to see some of the stuff I got? I completely forgot to show you. I couldn't go too crazy. I couldn't go too, too crazy. But I did get, like... a. I got two pins, and I got some little bits. Little bits. Little bits. Okay, 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 okay. Shark is gonna look after you. Um, both sharks are gonna look after you. My little haul from the convention. It's for shark. Um, those bits have been consumed. <gasps> Kova, yes, new sh new shark, second shark. We don't have a name yet, but it'll come to us. It'll come to us. It it'll come to us. How are you doing, Kova? Are you well? And Pickhead, thank you for the bits. All right, all right. Let me show you what we got. Stone of Baron Zaya sticker. I think I've bought about four or five of these off the same artist. Um, nettle pin. Um, I'll actually, do you know what? I'll see if I can get the links for some of the artists. I, I usually end up going to artists that I know. <laughs> Which is, it, it's kind of funny, but you know. You gotta support the pals, you know? Gotta support the pals. Is this active? Okay, they're not active. I don't know if they're active on social media at the minute, but... Stone of Baron Zaya. <gasps> Mooney Man, you're getting blows! Yes! I, 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 I'm honestly delighted for you, but looking for a name for the tiny baby or big one, we're gonna have to brainstorm. Brainstorm. <gasps> Dan, hello! Can't say for v Venva. Venva. But good luck. Thank you! I'm so excited for it. I, I'm really looking forward to it. It's been on my list for a long, long time. Hope you're. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are making good and normal financial decisions in all the shops I'm, I'm pointing you towards. <laughs> um, I got- Oh my god! The <clears throat> You're not ready for this sticker. Nixie! Yes, it is a Stone of Baron's Eye. So, I kind of had a running thing where the artist I get this off, I have, um... I've bought pretty much every single print over the course of like maybe six years that, that they do. And I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna start buying stones of Baron Zayas off ye and sticking them in random places. I'm good and currently chasing a plush of a lime pie. Good luck! Best of luck. I hope you find that lime pie. In the meantime, Mr. Worldwide. I, look, I got a pitbull sticker! Look at him! How excellent is he look look at the eyebrow look at him look at him <laughs> he's so shiny 
I don't have a Meridia's Beacon sticker, but it's only a it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> he is doing the tree works face. He kind of is. Excellent. So excellent. Ten out of ten. Um, I'm trying to remember who. <sighs> I can't remember. I can't remember who half of the stuff is from. Um, unless it's like written on something. Oh. This one. <gasps> Mickey D. Hello. Collect all fifty stones of Aranzai across Dundalk. <laughs> You'd have to be able to make it safely from one side of Dundalk to the other to get the stones. That's the only thing. Mickey D, how are you doing? Hope you're keeping well. Hope you're very well. Next up. Look at this little pin. Look at this little... This little demon. Look at this little buddy. Can we get a shout out for Happy Little Imp? Who made this little buddy. Yeah, and there was actually some uh, work in progress shots of these in our Discord. Because um, Happy Little Imp posts there. And you should go and you should go and give her a follow. You should do it. Stone of Baron Zaya geocache on. Don't don't give me. You can't give these ideas out for free. <laughs> so cute. Um, they're they're in different pride colors, and I got one with the bi flag because I thought it was very sweet. And hey, if that ain't me, if that ain't me. <laughs> Next up, you're you're gonna love this one. Um, so this next one is from Jekyll Draws, who did some of our emotes and is a is a friend. Is a friend. You're gonna love this. Okay, actually, I'll show you the sticker sheet first. Got a hell of a boss shicker, st shicker, shicker st st street sticker sheet. I don't know where I'm gonna stick them because I'm terrible at making up my mind on where I want to stick things. But hell of a boss sticker sheet and... They're, no, they are just so good. They are just so good. Um, they do conventions around Europe as well, so keep an eye out for them. They're excellent. But you're gonna love this one. Behold, maybe the best sticker I'm ever going to own. It's huge as well. <laughs> Look at it! It's so good! I, I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. Um, I will give you a link to their Etsy. I don't know if it's open at the minute. Hang on. Uh, beep, bop, bop. Because, you know, they're doing conventions and stuff. But, uh, beep, bop, beep. Beep, bop, beep, bop, beep. Um, yeah, their, their Etsy's on a break. But if you want to keep an eye, that's, that's their Etsy. That's it. That's it. And you should just go follow them anyway because they're my friend and they're good at art and I like them. Da, 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 da. And one more thing. And it is one of the coolest enamel pins I've ever seen in my life. I'm trying to see if this is going to show up on camera right because you know the way you know the way shiny things don't show up very well on cam camera. Look at this pin. And look how cool it is! Is that or is that not like one of the coolest pins you've ever seen in your life? It's so cool. It's it's so so pretty. I I was I was standing around, I was like, no, I you know, I'm trying to be good at spending, and I saw that I was like, never mind, gimme. <laughs> Giza. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm, I'm considering I might have to get another, um, I might have to get another Eta bag so I can put extra things on it in a different color scheme. Um, uh, unfortunately, I'm just about to pay. I'm just, I'm just about to pay my tax. I'm just about to pay my tax. Um, so that'll be at some point. Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't give you the username for that. I'm, I'm going to see if they're on Twitter. Hang on. Uh. I can I can spell good. Uh, this is by Brobex. Um, here you go. Here's the link. Here's the link. There it is. There it is. Go go follow them. Go follow them. They are very good. Um, I have I I've forgotten who I got some of this stuff off, so I don't have links for everybody. But I was I was very good. I was, I tried to be I tried to be very restrained this time around <laughs> because of tax. Um, so yeah. Nick's trap. How are you doing? Hello hello hello. Um, if you look up their username, I think they're probably on Instagram as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Mahuna, hello. You just showed that pin on stream. It's now tax deductible because it was content. Mr. Mahuna, you're thinking. 
You were thinking. You're using the brain out here. <laughs> Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I I forgot to take pictures. Except, hang on. Do you know what? I I'm ending up t showing this off anyway. I do have. I do have pictures actually with Tall Nerd Apollo. I completely forgot about these. Where the height difference is staggering. The height difference. <laughs> also, that that that's his, that's his cosplay. It's so good. It's so good. Clap. Clap. We couldn't keep a straight face in the second photo, but that that's like one of the only pictures I have of the whole weekend. I didn't even take it. I didn't even take it. Yeah, the co the co oh, his cosplay turned out so good. Like I'm so impressed. We love to see it. We love to see it. Did I take a single other picture other than the one of myself and McDara saying to come fight us? I think that's the only picture. I don't. I didn't. There is not a single photograph in my camera roll of the entire convention. <laughs> I'm a dum dum. Ha! <sighs> I'm a fool. That's okay. I always forget to take pictures of conventions because I'm always so I'm so caught up in the excitement and in the moment I'm running around, you know, and I'm I'm trying to see if I can find friends in the artist alley, and then I get distracted because I see loads of cool stuff, and then I do loops. Um. Do you want to know the sin I saw this time around? Which is just the sin you expect to see at conventions. I saw someone selling... <laughs> okay, so I got a Miku figure recently. Surprise to nobody! And it's one of the, the last, like, spendy-spend things I can do. This one. The Wonderland Miku. With, where she looks like Puss in Boots. And she was, like, 28 euro worth, I think. Like, not bad. She's a prize figure. I saw the same figure at one of the stands for 50 euro. Don't buy figures at conventions. Don't do it. Don't buy figures at conventions. If you want to spend money at a convention, spend it on the artist alley. Because that's going to pay some people's bills. And that's going to, you know, support an artist. We love that. We love that, to be TBH. TBH. We love it. Yeah, exactly. Look at figures at conventions. Take photos and then look them up later and get them online. Yeah, and you know, it depends on the convention if the reseller got the slot over an actual artist. Um, because usually the the trade hall and artist alley would be separate. However, there were some artists in the trade hall, so you know. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I just don't understand as well? And I'll talk about this until the end of time. And maybe someone will have to like, someone's gonna have to grab me and like pull me off camera. What's the deal with bootlegs? At conventions. Like, I'm not being funny about it. And I'm not trying to be miserable about it. But, like, I remember that for a while there was some really strict rules about what artists could do at some conventions. Like, you couldn't do fan art of XYZ. You couldn't do this kind of fan art. You couldn't do mostly fan art. But then you have, like, trade stands that are just selling, like, really obvious knockoffs and bootlegs. And, like, un like unashamedly as well. And I'm just like... Sellers not always know it's a bootleg. No, no, I promise you they do. Like, if you're buying stuff in bulk off Alibaba, you know it's a bootleg. <laughs> now, figures tend to be, like, grand, but, like... I remember I was at I-64 in Burm... Oh, oops, I didn't mean to hit that button. Uh, I was at I-64 in Birmingham a couple of years ago. And I remember looking around. I was like, oh, you know, great, let's have a little look around. And there was just someone selling mouse mats with stolen artwork on them. Like, th it was just... It was just someone else's art. Like, it was not theirs. It, they had just grabbed it from Google. I was like, You got approved to be here. <laughs> Death penalty for stealing art. Like, honest to God, I'm just like, I, it makes me so angry. <laughs> anyway, no more anger. Only, only excitement. Only excitement and delightment. Um, how do we have many cosplayers here out of interest? Hands up if you, if you have cosplayed ever before, even one time in your life. And plan to maybe do so again, you know, you know, because I, I just, I, I have so much appreciation for it. Like, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. And the, literally the only thing stopping me from doing it more is, well, the only two things are money and time. So if those two ever open up, lads, it's all over. <laughs> it's all over. 
Oh, goodness gracious. I mean, I've been known to... Um, Bit the stream and says in the petrol station in Ross Common over the weekend, they were selling those super obvious bootleg Sonic Pikachus. Oh my god. Theolix says don't want to do it alone. I get that. Like, it, it can be nicer to have like, a little gang, you know? A little gang together to do it. Um, OG's Cake says, I haven't been after seeing all the amazing comments like Comic Con. I want you sometime. Do it. Do it. Live your dream. Mythcast, welcome in. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. And Bartolo, happy time zone on this Tuesday. I can't- You cosplayed Lucille Ball! That's so specific, and you have no idea how happy that makes me, because... Lucille Ball is like- Lucille Ball's an icon. Do you know she wasn't naturally ginger? Apparently she dyed her hair- or her, they, her hair was dyed ginger at some point, because it stood out more. I remember I used to watch the, the Lucy show at home, because they would rerun it on some random channel, and, you know, kind of a banger, honestly. <laughs> Very, very, um, very odd, but, you know, what do you expect? I hate to say that, but... <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Lie I would never lie about my hair color. That is outrageous. I would never do that. <laughs> Unless I did. <laughs> Oh, goodness, unless I did. Actually, funny thing, I don't know if I told you, when I was in getting my hair cut last week, um, your one who was cutting my hair thought that... She thought this was my natural hair color. Are either halves of your hair natural color? You're saying your hair isn't natural. It's not. I do not lie about my hair. I am naturally blue-haired. <laughs> I wish thank you for the pits. Oh my god, no, do you know what that reminds me of? Hang on. I'm going to say three words and you're either not going to know what I'm talking about or I'm going to deal immediate psychic damage to a good chunk of the population. Okay, okay, you ready? You ready? Tumblr, purple eyes. I have been put here on this earth to cause psychic damage to all of you, okay? <laughs> Alexandra's genesis is a, gen is a genetic mutation that causes your eyes to change to purple six months after birth. This is obviously not true. This is- it's obviously made up, but the amount of people who really, really, like, genuinely believed it. A joke on you, I was talking more when that happened. Geeky Cultures, we were there. We, we, we were there in the trenches. <laughs> God. I think I was always amazed at people who would, like, genuinely fall for that stuff. I'm like, Google is free. And is it very reliable these days? No, not really. But it is free. <laughs> I never understood. I used, to, I used to get so unreasonably bothered about people who would just make stuff up but not even that like not even make stuff up to be funny like make stuff up and double down and be like no no boy i believe it and i was like i don't know i don't know maybe i do need the autism diagnosis i used to get really bent out of shape and but stuff like that but i do i try not to make anyone else's problem oh my god the infinite chocolate Oh, stop the infinite chocolate hack. This used to make me so angry. I wanted it to be real so badly, but it used to make me so angry when I saw it. Ah. 
Lurvik, hello, and thank you for four months of your prime. What does Flesh Tuesday mean, Cake? I'm afraid. It means this. That's what it means. It means I have flesh. <laughs> No VTuber today, um, because I I just felt like being on camera. I was in a very be on camera mood today. It's nice to have the flexibility, though. I have to say, did you the nomad love fleshy cake? Wah. 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 <laughs> Jacob Fly, hello. How are you doing? Are you well? Soup Taser says my brain can't even comprehend it. It's it's sort it's not really an illusion. So this is. This is thinner. The pieces here are narrower than these pieces. So it is, it's less chocolate overall. Like you can even see, like it gets a little bit, it's, it's not quite, it's, it's not, it's not right. That looks like it hurts. It, it, it actually doesn't. You just kind of, you just do a little. <laughs> it's, it, it's okay. This is a trick. Um, oh, good news from Pinking. I was at a job interview today and <gasps> you got the job, lads. Congratulations to Pinking. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, my goodness. That's excellent. Great news. We love to see it. We love to see it. Is that your weenus? I thought your weenus was on the elbow. A little. What? I don't know. Maybe it's because I have fibromyalgia and that would definitely hurt me. I I could well be. I, like, a lot of people have different tolerances for pain as well. Like, that doesn't hurt at all. I'm just like, Wee. I don't know. But then small things hurt me, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That's a common Elgar's Danlos thing is, I, I don't think, it's not for me. Like, I, I, I'm fairly sure it's not for me. I just, I just... I just don't really feel pain when I do that, you know? It's like a little pinchy if I hold it too long, but that's it. It, it's, it can be a symptom, but not, not in this case. I'm just, I'm just a bit, I'm just a bit, I'm just a bit crunchy, you know? <laughs> oh, goodness. Holy moly. I just don't have that much loose skin there. Yeah, I do, and I don't know why. But listen, it's not hurting me, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's how I'm living, okay? That's how I'm living. <laughs> oh, um, no crossfit fences. You're all right. Don't worry. It's no harm done. No harm done. Um, I'm going to have another sip of myself. I actually forgot my water bottle. So I think what I might do is... Oh, Patman, you're all right. We haven't started yet. We're just getting the chat and the mess out of the way. Um, I'm going to go and get my water in one second. And then I think we might kick off with Venba. Exclamation mark GG. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, I'm gonna get my water bottle, and then I'm gonna come back, and then we're gonna be Venba, and then I'm gonna put on my slippers, and then I'm going to slip. If they're called slippers, why do they have grips on the bottom? Why are they so dirty? Oh, disgusting. You gotta lunge. Oh, you don't have to, but it's nice to lunge. It's so warm in here. I really don't have the reason it's warm. It's probably because I'm wearing flannel. That'll do it. It's the, it's the flannel. It's me. It's me. Not to quote Taylor, Taylor Swift willingly, but um, I'm the problem. <laughs> it's me. All right. All right. All right. Yep. 
Lads, I have a very important question for you. Fireflower! Did I say hello to you or did I just think it really loudly? Are we ready to perhaps consider playing the video game? Are we ready to play Venba? Are we ready? Are we ready ready? Because I think it's about that time. I think it's about that time. I think it's coming up on that time right now. Are we ready ready? Are you steady ready? Wait, there's one thing I want to do before we play Venba. So last night on stream, okay, we did we actually played Neopets for about about an hour or so. And that's all well and good. But what we did was t around the start of the stream, we started a spin. <laughs> we started a spin on the wheel of monotony and it did stop. However, what start what happened when it stopped spinning was that it said I got a village, a free village, a free visit, sorry, to the lair of the beast. And then I clicked the button. No, wait, that's the mediocrity wheel. Hang on, wrong, wrong wheel. Um, no, no, I didn't mean to be, oh God. Okay, well, I've spun it now. Oh, that's okay. Um, wrong wheel, but I, when it stopped spinning, I got a free visit to the Lair of the Beast. I went to the Lair of the Beast and it was a blank white page. So what we're going to do, this takes ages. Like it went for like two hours total. So we're going to set this to spin in the background. Okay, we're going to mute it. And we're going to check back in on it later. Now, someone might have to remind me. <laughs> We're going to check back in on that wheel later on, okay? Okay. Are we ready to play Venba? I didn't even get the scream. No, they, I didn't even get the, the, the soup bookie scare. Um, I kept it going. I streamed the rest of it on Discord, which I thought was quite funny. Uh, oh, yeah. What BPM does it start on? We, we went through a thing of trying to figure out what BPM it was at so we could play music in the Discord call. Hang on. I have the... We had a thing. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. It's about 168 BPM. So we'll see what BPM it is when we come back later. I'm going to mute this and now we're going to play Venba for real. I'm going to minimize it. Okay. Okay. I'm pressing I'm pressing the go button. The button is go. Please don't resize all my windows weirdly. Babbit boy, hello. Oh, here we are. Here we are. It's happening. It's happening. I don't know how to level the volume on this because I, I think it's going to probably fluctuate quite a bit, okay? Any button. Oh. Okay, let's just have a look at the options before we go. Oh, we're not using a controller, so I think we're fine on that. Um, I think that should be fine. Camera Bob. Um, I think Bob's a lovely guy, so sure. I can't find the... Do, lads, does anyone have the any key? Oh, where's the any key? Let's go. If it gets too loud, let me know, alright? Oh, is this... Tamil? Think well before you dare and never ruminate once in action. Leaving already? I oh sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? 
Are we tired or nauseous? Let's say tired. Just like yesterday. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. But what about your lunch? There's some leftover... Is it idli? Idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. It's just idlis. Very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Oh, don't survive on the coffee machine! Okay, or fine, I'll make it then. I want to see what happens if we go fine, I'll make it then. <sighs> Wait five minutes. Then, but really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school. I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. And they'd always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe's still readable, that is. <laughs> Let's be fast. Let's try a new recipe. <laughs> okay. So we have to check the book first, surely. Tools. Idli plate, towel, cooker. Ingredients. Water and batter. We have holes to get steam through. These also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to... Or it will leak. Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Yeah, we can do that. I've not made idli with these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. But Amna swears this method makes the idlis a lot softer. Okay, so if we look again. Holes that seem through. Arrange plates the steam can cook the batter properly. Okay, so... Oh. No. Oh, wait, wait there's no... No point in putting a plate without batter in the cooker. Hang on, we also don't have any water in there to make steam. Can we put water in? Okay. We gotta turn it on. I should close- Oh, close the lid. Lid. I should stack all three plates before- What's this? This is the towel. Do I put the batter in the plate? The, in the thing? Oh, yes, okay, so we put the batter in the thing, then we put that. Um, I'm not sure what the towel is for. But I think we have to turn this before we put the next plate on. Marsh, hello, how are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. There's no mention of the towel. Maybe the towel goes towards the top? Okay, no, we're not. Okay, so let's do another layer. Okay. Good. Let me turn the music up, lads. Are we grooving? More batter. I think that should be... Towel on top? No. Lid. Lid. I'm a little worried. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. 
Okay, I have no idea what the... Oh! The batter leaked through the plate holes and split, spilt everywhere. Let's try again. So there has to be something to do with the towel, but it wouldn't let me put the towel anywhere. Maybe we have to put the towel in first? Okay, it has to be water first. Okay, we put the batter on. We can't put... The Oh, we're going through the learning process of this. So last time I added the batter like this, the batter leaked through the tiny holes. I should try something different. Maybe the towel would help stop the leak. Oh. So we cook it like on the towel in the tin. That's, oh, we're learning. Chef Hot Dog Water, hello. So far, it, it, it's very, very pretty. We turn this. We turn it again. Towel. Idly batter. Throw it in. Lid. On. That should be long enough. Alright, let's fingers crossed. You even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard, though. We have lunch, lads. We're fed. You really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out Idlis. Oh, 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 that's kind of cutting. Venba, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skipped lunch once. Pavalan. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. I'm gonna be honest. She has a point. She has a point. Like, when it's the thing of like, oh no, I'm just not going to learn how to make this thing. I would rather instead not eat. You know? And then have the other person be there like knowing that they know how to do it and it's not really that difficult but they're also unwell and they're like fuck it i'll do it i'll do it you're not letting me starve i know but that's what it feels like and even if i had let you leave yeah what will i do for lunch i'd still have to cook as exhausted and sick as i am you just wouldn't have seen it I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. Is it so hard for you to cook, even on days like this? You're right. Sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full-time. But unless the school gives you more shifts... Or my boss changes his mind. It's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but... I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That'd be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm, I'm sure I need some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. <laughs> free. The art style is so gorgeous. I can't get over it. Like, it's so, so pretty. 
Jana, hello! And thank you for 39 months. How are you doing? Come in, come in, come in. Oh. So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Oh! Oh, do you think... Do you reckon... Do you think... Oh, okay. I think she's... Do you think she's pregnant? Idlis again? Ah! What's gotten into you today? Oh, she is pregnant! Oh, that was really cute. That was adorable. Oh my god, that was so cute. Oh no, so I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. Oh. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see- <laughs> It's funny to see you worry like this. Chipich and TM Calitry, how are you doing? Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavalan, don't worry. I'm sure they'll turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Oh. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. 1994, let's go! Woo! 1994! 1994! 1994! 1994. My name is Pavalan, sir. Pavalan, sir. Kevin. Where'd you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Cavan. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed to transport hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Cavan, there you are. W what are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Sorry, you, ca you can't actually see what's on here at the minute. It's a cape. Take that off. Let let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Cavan, wait there. Don't run. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running! Kevin, come back here! This has become a routine now. Newman. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Ay, oh, that towel is dirty! It's so dirty, duh. Here, wear this shirt, Kana. No! <laughs> but, sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe. 
I'm driven, self-started and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kana. Hurry up now. I don't wanna... Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kana. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. So much going on. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. They didn't buy the hundreds of units of inventory story, or I'm telling you it's time for it to go. Hundreds of units of inventory? Oh, Moja, it's complete coincidence. Like, genuinely complete coincidence. I did not know that was today. I love the sound effects. That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Uh, well, I've always, always worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spent half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Cavan. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yeah! Yeah! Cartoon time! We can watch Batman together, Appa! Yeah, but your son is going to forget Tamio at this rate. Oh no! Did you know his friends call him Kevin? Oh, what's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. Names do tell stories. Names are important. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name, after all. Who else is gonna tell them? That's true. Whether you, whether someone gave you your name or you picked it yourself, it's important, you know? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want... Oh no. I just want to be Kevin. Kid, no! Oh. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learned to adapt, and we haven't. You know he aced yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate, Dakana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh. Can we order pizza? Uh, speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. Make something better than pizza. It's funny because I'm having pizza this evening. Making it, not ordering it, mind you. Like parata? Dosa? I'm gonna really give like a good college try to saying everything properly, but if I say things wrong, please tell me. Idia Pam? Ghee dosa? Biryani? Curry dosa? No, I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza. Oh, he's so determined. Idiopum. That's how you say it. I've actually not heard that before. Idiopum. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin. Have you ever had putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yes. 
But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. Is it gonna work? Hmm? Hmm? Will it really look like a rocket launch? Oh, that's so cute! Hmm? <laughs> Do you wanna see? Venba's out here with like the, the 500 IQ plays, I swear to god. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? Oh, we need to make the flower first, huh? <laughs> yeah, rockets! Give it up for rockets! Woo! Oh! I want to see you grow, lads. All right, put your flour. Ingredients: 500 grams of rice and water. We want to blend it together. Then we separate fine rice from the chunks. Oh, something spring, something chunks over something, and bleh. I don't know what it says. Combine 500 grams of fine rice with water. I think we have to sieve the chunks out. Oh, this slaps. Oh, the brass! Alright, let's go. So we need to blend the rice and water together. Let's make some flour. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, da. Be patient. Okay, so we want... We need... I'm in the way. I'm gonna be in the way no matter where I am. Rice. Water. Yeah. Hop. Well, recipe says adding flour to the rice is the final step. Do you think this is right? It's a bit chunky, isn't it? Put your flour should feel like slightly wet sand. I think we need to use the sieve. Let's try again. Wait. Hang on. I didn't get a chance to... Wait, let's read this again. We blend it. Hang on. Oh, we blend the rice on its own without the water. Okay, I'm a fool. Just we just put the water. We just put the rice in. We give now. Put the rice in the kitchen gun. And then let's have a look. Oh, there we are. We sieve it out, and then we combine it with the water. So we. I shake the sieve over the towel to catch everything. Yeah, shake it. Okay, now I think we have to... I think we maybe have to squeeze it out. Yeah, I think we squeeze it out in the tea towel. No, okay. Maybe we add... Oh, no, okay, I think I... think I, I, I... Wait. We must have added less than 500 grams of rice. Oh, maybe it's still some left in the sieve. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so now we put it in the sieve, and we, we give it an L, we give it one of these. We give it one of these. I'm really confused. Separate fine rice from chunks. Okay, so the chunks are there. Oh, wait. Hang on. Do we blend up the chunks? Oh, we do! We blend up the chunks! Yes! We blend up the chunks! Now we put it through the sieve again. No waste, lads. No waste. No waste. Keep going until we have all of it used up. Yes. This is the unlimited rice hack, by the way. 
Oh, now that's the business. Okay, now we combine it. We combine the rice with the water. I think this is perfect. Yes! Why does this feel like flour even though there's so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. All right, that wasn't too hard. Ama, when will we get to the rocket? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's vibing so hard. Like, I'm trying so hard to concentrate the cookie, but I'm just like... Right. Okay, so we're missing a fair chunk of this. We have coconut layers, and we want them as far away from each other as possible. So I'm thinking this is the coconut, and this has this is maybe the flour, I think, and then water at the bottom. It's straightforward. Assemble the parts of the water steams and cooks what's above. Tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order? Coconut can crumble easily. Right, so... Okay, wait, wait, wait. So we need water first. Water goes in the bottom part. Oh, water in the bottom part. Excellent. So that's the putu kettle. Do we combine these yet? No. So we want the coconut as far away. So one tablespoon of coconut, two tablespoons of... Raw flour? I think, yeah, because if the coconut has to be really far away from each Oh, lads, they're bringing in the whistles! Am I supposed to just not vibe to this constantly? Like, this is so good. Okay. So one. One, two of this. One of these. Another two of the rice. And then one of the coconut. Then. Lid. On. I think we got it right. It's launch time, Kevin! Oh. That actually looks excellent. Wow. That was so cool. Vamba, I can't believe it didn't fall. Amma, can we do that? Oh, that's so cute. Can we do that again? Oh, that looks so good. Oh, no. We are unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Oh. Is he asleep? I think so. Gavin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview. Another dead end? Yeah. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh. But I think you should take the sales job at his company. We are a bit at the end of our rope. And it's all about who you know. We barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. But even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold Kavan on the Puto today. You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching at home. It makes me worry about Kavan. 
But why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh and open up. Get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Cavan? I just feel there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They leave very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Cavan. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Cavan? It's so hard to even talk to him. It just it feels like he's growing further away from us. The other day, he told me he wished he had his own room like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He's not he, he's not interested in anything we do. Oh. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He doesn't interest in anything we do. I thought I could at least get him to listen to music or watch some movies from back home. But he'd rather watch Home Alone for the 100th time. Than Home Alone. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me too. But we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. But it also comes with its own culture, language, and values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask them to ignore it from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Oh, Endeavor says, I'd like to know this is probably what my parents were dealing with when I slowly unlearned. Um, is it Gujarati? And... Ah, I'm just glad I had mum teach me how to cook and all that and grew up watching Bollywood films. I'm relearning my culture again and it feels good. I was about to say, like, I, I'm fairly sure we have a lot of people here who could probably relate to this. Like, there is, and it's not something I've experienced firsthand, but there is that difficult, like, that middle ground where you need to fit in to a certain extent, but you also don't want to lose what's special about where you came from. You know? Toy Baba, hello! Toy Baba says I got my own room, I was Toy D8. Oh. Maybe. Uh, it's just scary. Don't worry, Venba. He'll turn out just fine. Uh, how are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? Yeah, diaspora dealing with cultural loss. Like, it's, it's a very, very difficult thing, you know? It's complicated. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavalan. He's my dad. P A A V A L A N She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? As oh, this is starting to get weird. Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no. Dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5pm today. She says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you.
Plus I'm scared. Uh, why are we walking through the park, Emma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kana. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If you decide to walk home from the office, it, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. En enough with your questions. Sorry, Kana. I'm just worried about Appa. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no. I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay? Oh, okay, I can do that. <clears throat> okay? Okay. I can do that. So, yeah, just to clarify, when the writing is in yellow, I'm pretty sure that's when the kid's talking in English. Why did that lady say Appa's very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Ah, oh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? Oh, yes. He loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. Oh, the question is, how did you and Appa meet? I'm gonna ask. Hmm. You know I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yes, Appa told me. A venba is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay, so we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. But he was the shabbiest person I've ever seen. He looked like he'd just woken up. Was it Appa? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine. But it wasn't an article. It was a... was it a poem? It was a Venba. A gorgeous one, too. It was about the school, the students, our protest. And it was about me! Oh. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change. And I was smitten. Aww. Why did you move here? It, it wasn't an easy choice. Pavelan wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. <laughs> Don't let this distract you from this unusually long night walk we're having. <laughs> but a lot of people took issue with us being together, and they decided to make it our problem. Oh. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. I see Appa.
I'm so scared. Oh god, okay, he's alive. He is alive. He's not... It looks like you got attacked. And he's writing! Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. Oh, we've just had a big time skip. 2006. Hang on, hang on. I need a second. He is wearing the same glasses! You can't just skip 11 years and expect me to be like, Oh yeah, no, that's fine, let's not talk about that! Ah! Jeez, okay. I just finished cutting up the onions, too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll go help Cavan pack. Wait, what are we making? What are we making? We're making... Uh, we're making... Uh, this recipe is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Alright, lads. I'm still kind of reeling from the last scene, so... Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah, it's not unreadable, it's just gone. There's nothing left. There's no page. What happens if we put the water in? Oh, we physically can't. Okay, that's probably for the best. Remember, add all of these first. That looks like a bay leaf. There's some bits and bobs here, some cloves. The ingredients so expensive. Amma, why are you going through all this trouble? It's okay, dear. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook this for you again. Okay. Okay, so cloves, bay leaves, fennel seeds. What else? The stick of something in there. Oh, these in there. And... That's it, I think. The stick was a leaf. I can never get tired of how great toasted whole spices smell. They smell so good. Um, I wish you could see how much these cost here. You'd lose your mind over the prices. There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil than the one you add next. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. 
And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. So tomatoes have to go last. Okay, so onions first. Then chilies. Wait. And then tomatoes? Maybe? Oh. Oh, wait. No, I forgot the ginger garlic paste. Well. Okay. It has to be onions first. Oh, the sound of something frying is just... Oh. Then the chilies. Then the ginger garlic paste. And then the tomatoes because they release so much water. Of course the tomatoes go in last. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Emma. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. If he ever does. Okay, let's remember this. Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. Then add water and let it reduce. Ah, oh, how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book I gave you. Okay, so we need to add this- wait, hang on, let me read this again. All the salt and powders, and then water after. So salt, powders, meat, and then water. Salt, powders, chili powder- I've actually- I did went too fast to see what those were. Then beef. Then water. Oh. Patman says when my mom fried chilies, it was like the house is getting tear gas. You have to be careful, though. Like, honestly, you do. Um, Alvin Fiend says my immigrant mom straight up gatekeeps her recipes from me. I must pester her after this. Do it. Get those recipes. Learn them. Learn them. This smells divine. That would smell so good. Lads, who wants, who wants some? I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and then we can start the layering. I want to know what the layering is all about. Gravy's done. All that's left is the biryani. I hope I can finish it before Calvin leaves. Oh. Layered biryani. Does not say what order to layer it in. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice, and other things, but in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. I see, we just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer. Yes. What's wrong, Amma? Oh, Amma, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often. Oh! You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Kana. It's just so far away. Oh. Okay, wait. Do we... We have a bo 